explain the following terms of vibration transmissibility in vibration isolation first force transmissibility second motion transmissibility let us understand the concept of vibration transmissibility in vibration isolation there are two types first force transmissibility second motion transmissibility we will first understand the concept of force transmissibility notation is tr if we observe this diagram here is the machine of mass m then the in between this machine and foundation isolator is provided now what is the role of isolator here so it reduces the vibrations transmitted from this machine to the foundation now if we observe this system here is the harmonic excitation force f o sin omega t is applied and because of this harmonic force vibrations are created in the system now how we can define this force transmissibility tr so force transmissibility tr is equal to force transmitted to foundation divided by force impressed on the system now we know that force impressed on the system is fo we will consider here the maximum force and when the force is maximum then the sin omega t term is equal to 1 so the force impressed on system is fo and force transmitted to foundation so force is transmitted from this machine to the isolator and then from isolator to the foundation and this force transmitted to foundation is known as ft so the ratio of ft by fo is known as force transmissibility tr now this is the actual diagram now we will draw the equivalent diagram so how this isolator is working here so it absorbs the vibration so it will act as a spring with stiffness k and it will also act as a damper with damping coefficient c so instead of this isolator we can put here the spring with stiffness k and damper with damping coefficient c now the vibrations are taking place in both the direction that is in upward and downward direction so this system will move from its a mean position to the up, upward direction as well as lower direction now for this case we will consider the force fo will act in the downward direction and when this force fo is acting in the downward direction then there is the displacement of this mass m x is also in the downward direction now this is the foundation instead of isolator we have placed spring as well as damper this is the x is the displacement of this mass m in the downward direction and the force fo will also act in the downward direction now for this case we will draw the free body diagram of the mass so how to draw so we know that this force fo will act in the downward direction so we will show that here is the mass m now the displacement is also in the downward direction so system will try to displace from its a mean position now there are three elements here is the mass m then spring and here is the damper so because of these three elements this three element try to bring the system back to its a equilibrium position so whenever this system displaced through a distance x in the downward direction then the forces are applied in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction and these forces are the inertia force that means resistance so this elements try to resist the system that will move in the downward direction from its equilibrium position so what is the spring force so spring force is kx and this force will act in the upward direction then what is the damping force so damping force is cx dot so we will show this so it will also act in the upward direction and the inertia force of mass that is also the we have to show in the upward direction that is m into x double dot so this is the inertia force 
So all these three forces because of the three elements are the resistance forces and it will act in the opposite direction of the displacement x. So this is the free body diagram of the mass for this equivalent diagram. Now we will draw the vector polygon. So here for this mx double dot so I will show here mx double dot we will use m omega square capital X where X is the amplitude amplitude of the vibration then instead of C X dot we will use C omega X and instead of K X we will use here K capital X so these three terms we have to use and we have to also take the direction for these forces now for the direction of these forces, that is for these inertia forces, please refer my previous video, that is the graphical solution of force damped vibration. And the direction of these forces are taken from that point and the link is also given in the description box. Now first we will draw this force FO at an angle of omega t, because here is sign omega t, so we will take here one reference axis this horizontal positive ref line we will consider as a reference axis and now from this we will draw here the force FO and this angle is omega T so this is important now after that we will show the vector so we have to keep the direction as it is so please refer my previous video m omega square x so direction we have to keep as it is and we will start at the end point of the fo so here is m omega square x and then c omega x so direction we have to keep as it is so here is the direction c omega x and then we will draw the kx. So direction we have to keep as it is. So here is the direction. This is the vector kx. Now if we observe this force polygon is getting completed. Now the angle between this fo and kx is known as phi. And that's why the remaining angle in between this kx and this Horizontal reference line is known as omega t minus phi. With reference to the free body diagram of mass, we will draw the free body diagram of foundation. Now if we observe the equivalent diagram, then the element spring with stiffness k and damper with damping coefficient c are common for both mass m and for the foundation. Now this foundation is in contact with spring k and the damper with damping coefficient c. So the spring force and damper force will act on the foundation. Now if we observe for the mass m, the spring force and damper force are acting in the upward direction. So at the same time for the foundation these two forces acts in the opposite direction that is in the downward direction. So it's a magnitude is same but direction is opposite. So we have to show this. So for the free body diagram we will show here the spring force kx will act in the opposite direction and damper force cx dot will also act in the opposite direction. Now for this mass m there is the force fo will act in the downward direction. Now we will draw the vector polygon diagram. So here is the force fo. So we have to take the reference of this. That is here is the force fo. Now, here if we observe, kx is in the opposite direction, that is in the downward direction. But for this diagram, kx is in the upward direction. So here the direction of kx is in the downward direction and towards the left hand side. So arrow is in the downward direction. But if we observe for the foundation, we have to show kx in the opposite direction because for the free body diagram, if we refer, the direction of forces are opposite. So for the vector polygon diagram, we will draw here the kx 
that is the direction of kx is in the upward direction that is opposite to this then we will move for the cx dot so this damper force here the direction is shown in the downward direction but now for this case for the foundation we have to show opposite direction because here the direction of cx dot is opposite so we will show here the cx dot is in the that is cx dot we will write here there is a c omega x c omega x is in the opposite direction and here there is the this kx and c omega x are perpendicular to each other now we will join this point of origin to the end point of c omega x and we will show arrow and this is known as the force transmitted to the foundation that is ft so this is this vector is known as ft now the angle between fo and kx is known as phi so we have to show here because this angle will remain same so in between fo and kx we have to show this angle phi and angle between this ft and kx we will write here as a alpha then the angle between fo and ft is known as phi minus alpha so if we observe this angle is known as phi minus alpha and this angle between force impressed on the system and force transmitted to the foundation that is fo and ft is known as angle of lag and it is equal to phi minus alpha now we will derive the formula for the force transmissibility tr so from this triangle we can write ft is equal to under root of kx square plus c omega x bracket square now we will take x as a common and in the bracket we will write in square root k square plus c square omega square now instead of this amplitude x we can write its a formula that is equal to fo by k divided by so here is divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square and in square root term we will write as it is now again if we observe this in denominator there is k so if i multiply for this under root term then it will become k square so how we can multiply so for this first term here will be under root of k square and here will be under root of k square so instead of k we can rewrite in this case so k square by k square is 1 plus c omega by k bracket square and remaining fo and this divided that is the denominator term will as it is now instead of c omega by k we know that c by k is equal to 2 zeta by omega n so instead of c by k we will write 2 zeta by omega n and then omega by omega n that is nothing but the frequency ratio r so we will write here as a r so how we can write this ft and this fo we will transfer to the left hand side then ft by fo that is nothing but the force transmissibility tr is equal to this is the final formula under root of 1 plus 2 zeta r bracket square divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square so this is the formula now we will find out the angle of lag so angle of lag is nothing but phi minus alpha so phi minus alpha so we know for the formula of phi that is equal to tan inverse of 2 zeta r divided by 1 minus r square so here also we have to uh, you have to refer my previous video and link is given in the description box and for the alpha if we observe here is the angle alpha and alpha is equal to tan inverse of we can write here c omega x divided by kx now this x is, is getting cancelled so tan inverse of c omega by k so if we observe here c omega by k that means here 2 zeta r so here we have derived this so instead of c omega by k we will write here tan inverse of 2 zeta r so here is the final formula for the angle of lag now second type is motion transmissibility 
In this case, the excitation in the system is transmitted through the base or foundation. If we observe for this base or we can say support, there is the harmonic excitation y is equal to capital Y sin omega t. And this harmonic excitation is transferred to the elements of spring with stiffness k and damper with damping coefficient c to the mass m. And there is the displacement x in the mass m. Now how we can define this motion transmissibility? So motion transmissibility is equal to x by y that is amplitude of machine divided by amplitude of base excitation. And which are the formulas we have to use? So we have to use the same formulas as the force transmissibility that is we have to use this formula for this motion transmissibility so instead of force transmissibility we can use here the motion transmissibility and that is equal to x by y and we will use here under root of 1 plus 2 zeta r bracket square divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square and for the Calculation of angle of lag, we will use the same formula tan inverse of 2 zeta r by 1 minus r square minus tan inverse of 2 zeta r.